Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 16th of our machine learning with Python video series. And in this video, we're gonna basically cover that what is underfitting and overfitting. But to understand these two concepts, you must be familiar with a few terminologies like what is noise and what is signal, which we'll cover in this video only and what is bias and variance. So if you are already familiar with what is bias and variance, then you can follow along with this video. And if not, then I have created a separate video on bias and variance. The link will be provided in the I button as well as in the description. So you can watch from there. Now let's move on to our first topic, which is to understand that what is noise and what is signal. So we have done a few videos on machine learning models in that if you take a closer look at the data set, you will see that majority of the data points are following a pattern. It can be any pattern like linear, polynomial or some complex one, but there is a pattern or a relationship between your independent and dependent variable. But some data points are scattered. They either do not follow that pattern completely or they show a slight deviation. And this is because the presence of noise in them. So now summing up all the points in one line, noise are the unwanted data points that intend to distort our model and signals are data point that we use for our model for training and testing. Now, there are various reasons for a real world data set to have noise. There are a few listed here. I'll just go over them. Now, if the data set is image, the noise can be due to poor lighting or due to the poor quality of the camera. If the data is text, then it can be due to some spelling error or use of very informal language. Noise can also be introduced during storage, transfer or input output processing. So I'll provide this PPT and you can just go through all these points. Okay. Now let's move to our theoretical part of what the uh, underfitting and overfitting is. Overfitting means that the model has not only learned from the signal, but is also affected by the noise. Let us say that we have a data set in which data points are following a polynomial pattern. So we use a polynomial regression model to draw the best fitting line. So what the ideal plot should look like is the middle one. And the accuracy of this model is also pretty decent like 95 to 96 but what some new student do is they want a very great accuracy of let's say 99 percent so what they do is they force the best fitting line to come very close to our data points by playing along with the degree of polynomial in this case hence creating a zigzag pattern now this will give a brilliant accuracy for the training set but will do horribly wrong with unseen or test data and this is what we call high variance and this is a, a visual example the overfitting now let's see underfitting so as the name suggests Underfitting is just opposite to overfitting. In overfitting, we were trying too hard to satisfy all the points. And in underfitting, we don't basically. So let's see that this is the ideal model condition. This was overfitting and this is underfitting. We are using a very simple uh, machine learning model there you can see that the data set is having a polynomial pattern but we are using a linear model which is able to satisfy a few points here but majority of the data points are neglected and hence the accuracy is very bad and this is what we called high bias so now you can relate your bias and variance with the overfitting and underfitting and 
this is it for this video this was a short explanation video of what underfitting and overfitting is i have also created some correlation between bias and variance and underfitting and overfitting we have also seen that what is noise and signal so i'm not gonna extend this video to make it a long one because these are some simple concepts that you should know just an overview because we are gonna see the actual example when we cover our machine learning models okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture. Bye-bye.